Welcome to my quick and dirty Aberus the Shadowed Crucible LFA Wing 2 guide where I will tell you the basics that you need to know about the three boss encounters of this wing Assault of the Zakali, Eldar Ashok and Zkan. This is a TLDR guide that is not pretending to be complete or extensive. It is just a quick survival guide for casuals. Let's begin. Rule number one always is whether you're a tank, especially a tank, or a DPS or a healer. Install Deadly Boss Mods add-on from CurseForge.com and listen to the prompts. They typically address, I don't know, 80% of situations that you need to be aware of as a raid member. Do yourself a favor and do that first. First boss of Wing 2 is Assault of the Zakali event. The boss himself here is Warlord Kagni, who is just a massive fire-infused Zakali dude, massive yawn, who you fight on a stretched platform between two balconies, for the lack of a better description. Throughout the fight there will be fire everywhere that you shouldn't stand in, go figure, and Zakali troops will be landing on both balconies, in the north and the south of the encounter. DBM will be telling you about this. You can stand either by the central door that they are trying to breach, to the next boss and defend there. If you're confident that you don't need extra space and spread, so to speak, chances are though that in LFR and relatively sucky DPS, you will. Or you can do what majority of successful raids that I've seen, and I've seen three today, uh, do. You basically have one tank go north to the northern balcony, another one go south, and you just have to pick up ads as they land and DPS the warlord who will be flying between those two balconies until his health reaches about 50% and he lands then by the central door anyway. The troops will stop landing, so it's just the boss then, and you will just burn him and finish him off there. Up to you how you do it. It is not a complex encounter unless literally no one is picking up the ads and your DPS cannot keep up with the influx of fresh ads that need to be killed quickly. The door opens and the next boss... Uh, is in front of you. It's as simple as that. Elder Rashok. Uh, he is a bit of a raid killer, LFR raid killer at this stage from what I've seen today. And, uh, you know, at least this early into the week until everyone learned the encounter. But as you know, s s kind of harder bosses of LFR have always been in World of Warcraft a bit of raid wipers, a bit of raid killers. Just look at what's happening with Razageth into Season 2, and it's a boss from Season 1, and people are still wiping on Razageth. Anyway, I will not pretend to know tanking mechanic for the Elder Ashok perfectly just yet, because it is the start of the week, and this is a very early guide, but in terms of what to expect at a high level, so you're somewhat prepared, here you go. Tanks need to pick up the boss and tank him away from the central circle that is in, in the middle of the room and not start the encounter by pulling him through the circle. Pull to the side. Start the encounter from the side. That seems to be a much better tactic. When everyone, uh, you know, when anyone gets a fiery kind of debuff that is about to go off, it will be pretty obvious. Run to the sides of the room, you will be marked pretty, pretty clearly, and drop that fiery puddle over there. It will emit lava waves, so dodge them, you know, and listen to DBM, to Deadly Boss Mods, when it tells you to taunt off the other tank, by the way, as well, if you're tanking. When there is a clearly marked swirly on the ground, the DBM will tell you to soak it. So guess what? You stand in it and you soak it. Periodically, the boss will jump into that central ring in the middle of the room and start channeling a massive AoE damage. And everyone needs to stand by him inside of that central bubble or you are dead. That's about it. As far as quick and dirty Rashok is concerned, wipes will be caused mainly by people either tanking him in the middle or not soaking that damage, those swirlies, or not running into the central bubble when he starts channeling his AoE. The final boss of Wing 2, Zkan, is reachable by uh, basically just taking one of those chains that leads you to the upper level straight after the boss number 2. He is on a platform surrounded by fire-breathing dragon head-shaped pillars. And the f there are fire vents also on the platform that will activate periodically. So, in general, guess what? You should try and avoid fire. That is the name of the game here. 
the boss will summon dragonfire golems periodically that will march across the platform and try and activate those fire vents on the floor and dps needs to switch to those instantly and kill them asap Periodically, Zgan will activate one of those, or progressively more than one, of those fire-breathing dragon head pillars, and you will need to run to the other side of the platform, as that fire will be expanding, otherwise you will be most likely toast. It looks like the longer that the Scan fight goes, the more pillars will be activated at one time, so the spill of fire will be more and more and more progressively each time he activates them, so it kind of serves as a soft enrage timer if you like, so if your raid DPS is low, I can imagine that at one point the whole platform will be lit on fire because all of these pillars will be breathing at the same time, and there will simply be nowhere for you to hide, which will be extremely unpleasant. And that's all there is to Wing 2 of LFA Aberus the Shadowed Crucible Raid. I will honestly tell you that I personally did not enjoy it. Assault of the Zakali was kind of okay, second boss was unexplainably painful, and third boss Scan was again okay, but a bit boring for my liking. I don't even know why. Let me know if you liked Wing 2, especially compared to Wing 1 of LFA Aberus the Shadowed Crucible, and I hope this guide helped you at least to some extent, to finish it and get some loot, hopefully. I thank you very much for watching and welcome back for my future similar guides of the remaining bosses of Aberus, the Shadowed Crucible LFR, which I will absolutely be posting as more of them open up. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.